Hey guys, Ruby here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a makeup brush, a DIY makeup brush, kind of like that, but not a smudge brush, just a normal eye pencil brush or something like that, but all you need is scissors. Glamper thingies, I can't remember what they're called. A uh, pencil. Um, I already took out the eraser, so I can put it in there. And then hair. You can use any kind of hair, but I just got hair out of my brush. Um, oh yeah, and you need glue. You could use any kind of glue, just this is the only glue that I had laying around in my room. And I don't really want to go out of my room because it's hot out there and it's cool in here um but let's get started okay so what you're going to do is get your glue and your pencil i already took out the eraser so the pencil goes but you just put a little glue at the bottom and kind of at the sides and then you're going to take a brush and you are just going to smear it around in there just smear the glue all in there at the moment and then you are going to take your hair and cut it and you might need a trash can for this well you will need a trash can for this so it doesn't get everywhere but you're just going to cut the bottom evenly and then just stick the hair in there so it looks like that and then you're going to take your clampers and then just clamp the metal down So it's all nice and neat, and it'll and the hair will stay in there. But just keep clamping it down, and like the hair in the brush is like really dry and nasty. So, but and then you just cut it into how you want it. You can like make it into an eyebrow brush or something like that. But I'm just going to make an eye brush if I could cut it right and that turned out really crappy but who cares not me Okay, but this is what it looks like. You can make it like better, but I kind of messed up. But yeah, so you can paint it or anything. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you one important thing. You need to take the glue off your like on your paintbrush and then just glue the sides where the hair is, kind of like, put it a little on the hair, but not too much, but. and then, like, to me it might work, but who knows, you could use any hair, people sometimes use armpit hair, you can use your friend's hair, you can use Brooklyn's hair, you can use your own hair like I did, out of a brush or something, or you could just cut it straight off your hair, like a little off your head, like that much. And then you can use dog hair. I was gonna use like my the hair out of my dog's brush, but who knows what's he, what he's been rolling around in and I just washed my hair. So that's what I just decided to use. 
you can use any hair, horse hair, anything, but that's all it turns out to be like, and you can paint it, as I said, and I will take a brush and another brush, well, my brush and a different brush and compare it. Doesn't really look the same, but it's still better than, you can dye your hair or you, like, extension hair or anything, like, it doesn't really matter, but it works really good, like, amazingly good. So, I'm going to, and of course, I packed up my makeup because we're in the process of moving, so, yeah. Here's a DIY for little makeup brushes, and it most likely will hold lots of pigment, pigment, not pigment, but lots of pigment, and hope you have a good day, hope this turns out really good, like better than mine, but post your, like, show me your outcomes in the comment box, and like and subscribe. If you, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, then body for me. But hope you like this DIY. See you next time. Later. Later, dudes.